black guy was an ice tea that played the part and they took him out in the country they thought he was cool and they started hunting him yeah they actually have hunted people on this place uh, the stories are told yeah i mean what if hollywood is just telling us what's going to happen to us and in, in on tv you know it's fucked up whatever your lifestyle is. it's called it's called weak magic that's what they call it they they run they run it through us subliminally and right in front of our face and then it kind of helps their ordeal go through you know what i mean yeah see yeah, if, you, if you if you keep seeing people being slaughtered and killed it becomes normal to you if that's all you've ever known yeah and, you know you, you, well like like the the 20 dollar bill with the world trade center on it you fold it up right that that was on all of our money you know what i mean and that helped them proceed with it you know what i mean it helped them Fulfill. No, wonder, no wonder they don't want their their uh, they don't want they don't want to be audited. Imagine the damn printing presses and the sh- those big dies that put out that fucking money, all that evil fucking shit they could see like real up close. Yeah. See, all of our presidents were all most of our presidents were Freemasons, and from the Freemasons, they've they've moved off to the Bavarian Illuminati, which came from Germany and Hitler, and. They are the ones that wanted the new world order. Hitler wanted a new world order way before. I have I have audio of um, Roosevelt right. talking about Hitler. I'm going to go back to some more of my audio, and uh, we'll go back to this subject um, as soon as we stop playing audio again. Here we go. Christ did not die. They next reasoned he did not need to be resurrected from the dead. Both ideas are, of course, false. They deny that Jesus was once a flesh and blood human being, that he was tempted like all men and capable of sinning, but did not. They believe his death was not actual. Were this true, mankind has no savior. This certainly denies Christ and is thus anti-Christ. The world to come will continue after this brief message. Discover more from David C. Pack. Visit our website, worldtocome.org. See the World to Come broadcasts. Read and order books, booklets, and articles, all free of charge. To continue learning about the topics covered in this broadcast, visit worldtocome.org today. Now back to David C. Pack. But this goes further. In fact, much further. If Jesus was not flesh, then he was not tempted to sin. If he was never tempted, he was not capable of sinning. If he was incapable of sinning, then he did not overcome sin and therefore could not set a perfect example for us to follow. John also recorded that Jesus Christ, who was God... Chris Nelson, if you're listening, yes, call in. ...did become flesh. Notice, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. That's plain. Matthew 4 describes Jesus' temptation by Satan. Notice, then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Again, if Christ was not flesh, temptation was no worry. James 1.13 states, God as spirit, John 4.24, cannot be tempted with evil. But Hebrews 4.15 states, But Jesus was in all points tempted like as we are. The point is that all flesh is subject to temptation. Jesus declared plainly, I have overcome the world, and he that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. How is this possible if he was never tempted and therefore never capable of sinning? So then, and let's be plain, teaching that Christians do not have to overcome sin in their own personal lives, the breaking of God's Ten Commandments, 1 John 3, 4, is the doctrine of Antichrist. Did you get that? Let's make this stronger. Let's directly connect Antichrist's to evil works. So many do not understand John's, God's warnings against those who confess not, 
that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. The Williams translation, among others, renders is come as continues to come, meaning Christ is still coming in flesh today. Although Jesus came in the flesh 2,000 years ago, he is also coming in the flesh right now in the lives of true Christians. He is actively working in them, living his perfect sin-free life through them daily. Read Galatians 2 verse 20. He is guiding them to become perfect, spiritually mature, just like him. Read 1 John 3, verses 1 to 3. You must grasp this. Acts 5.32 explains that God only gives his spirit to those who obey him, who keep his commandments. This permits Christ to live his perfect life through them. Notice this. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Followed by, he that keeps his commandments dwells in him, Jesus, and he, again Jesus, in him, the individual. And hereby we know that he abides in us by the spirit which he has given us. Comments? No? All right. Preachers what is that? And- hey, Debbie. Hey, Chris. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. We are. Thank you. Huh? Do what? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Um, oh, here. Let me put my headphones on. We have some great audio to listen to, like the book of Revelation unlocked. The Beast of Revelation, Are We in the Last Days, When Christ Returns, World Economic Crisis, and You, and Did God Send Nostradamus? Well, listen to this uh, blasphemer we have as president. This, 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 I mean, thank you for playing that, reminding th- me. And, I mean, we should play that for ourselves every week just to remember. That's what this guy really is like. And... I remember when he gave that speech and he was mocking the Bible and he has no freaking clue what he's talking about, about Leviticus, because the Bible and Leviticus condemn slavery. And, but that, that's Obama. That's him. That's, that's, you don't see, you don't, you don't hear the real him now, but that, that's him. That's, that's him off prompter. That's, that's the real him. He was raised Marxist. Marxist, communist, atheist, whatever, just, just, just get him. He just can't be near power. We can't let guys like this near power because what? Look all around us. This is what happens. And look all around the world and look how everything's coming unglued and destabilized. And we're, we're seeing we're seeing the uh, the results of uh, of Obama. And well, did anyone hear the the two nukes off the coast of Nor of? South Carolina, where um, two high-ranking generals lost their jaws because they went and set them off in the ocean instead of setting them off over the United States? No, I didn't hear about that. And Obama's going through the whole government and getting rid of people that won't go along with uh, stick, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what dictators do. Um, yeah, that's he's following the straight-up dictator playbook. Yeah, he's purged the military really bad, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he's taken the military to pieces. I mean, he he put in Chuck Hagel, who, uh, you know, but but I mean, it's all coming from the top. I mean, the people Obama appoints are people that that are that's him. The people he appoints are him. That's who we agree with him. That's who he agrees with, and they carry out. Their uh, their mission to impose misery on the entire planet. Here's a little fun fact for everybody. If you take Barack, a President Barack Obama, mix the words up, you can make it spell Muslim-backed imposter. No way. Yes way. You can't. You can't. You can't make what the Lord, the little Lord's little, like snacks he leaves for us you know what i mean you can't make that stuff up yeah and uh um sure i mean i don't know maybe he's a muslim who knows i mean he doesn't show any evidence of being a christian i mean does a christian talk like that 
And when people say, oh, Obama's a Christian, it's like, says who? Well, Obama? When did he ever say he was a Christian? I don't remember him ever saying that. Well, he, and, um, have you guys ever heard him say that Arabic prayer, whatever, recite it? Yeah, I've heard that. I, I've never seen any evidence that the man's a Christian or a, a Muslim, for that matter, and that, that he, may, he just seems like a guy who will... Uh, who will side with whoever, whatever group he asked to? I mean, look, look at who we're backing in the I Ukraine now. Nazis, Nazis. John McCain over there meeting with a freaking Nazi. Absolutely, um, man. And, and 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 I think he'll just part hey, team up with Muslim extremists, with Nazis, with whoever he needs to to, to achieve his goal of of um of admits, implementing admits, misery on the entire world. He admits that he's a Muslim in that video where he recites the prayer. He, he recites it and says he's a Muslim. He's even came out and said, my Muslim religion, instead of saying my Christian <laughs> Didn't religion. he say that? Yeah, he did. He went, he went my Muslim and, and the, the host, <laughs> I remember that. The interviewer had to correct him. The interviewer corrected him. Uh, Absolutely. Here, the interviewer, you know, you mean Christian. He's like, my Muslim faith. You're like, you mean Christian, right? And he's like, Christian faith. <laughs> and, he's, and he stopped himself a couple times when he's like, we need to talk about how we're talking about the prophet, I mean, Muhammad, you know. Muhammad was not a prophet, okay? He is not. A... Yeah, they did that. They, did that. they told uh, George, the old man Bush, was that Herbert, Herbert Walker Bush? He was a Christian, and he said, well, if that means I'm born again, then yes, you know. I'd like to see, I mean, he talks about how Leviticus promotes slavery, and I mean, he's going down the list of the of the the um, Christian stereotypes of the San Francisco. I assume, I remember in the, that audience was a, uh, that was one of his um, pre-president speeches to try to get support over Hillary, I, I believe. Well, he went around and, and he talked, to, that's when he talked a lot about, like, from what I believe is his heart, if he has one. Well, see, he was he was in a church with um, Reverend Wright. Yeah, that's Reverend Wright crap that he yeah, was. And, and they're 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 supposed to be they're a certain type of Christianity. <laughs> yeah, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I can like I can set myself up as a church of Jesus Christ, um, uh, my house, and get tax exempt status. And... Absolutely, man. We're having church right yeah, now. Sure. But I can preach how Jesus was a, a, a was wrong and. Socialism's better, and most of the Bible is a bunch of crap, and the Bible promotes slavery, and America sucks. And but but we're a church of Jesus. And exactly. He I, says he says not God bless America, God damn America, God damn America. The Bible. And after that, it says yeah, the Bible says it's like yeah, it's just you know you know what a. Yeah, they're asking people, man, on dating sites if they're fucking, like, if you, you need to check Christian, uh, Protestant, or whatever, and they got socialists on there. I've actually seen people as socialists as their, their you know, what they claim to be. Oh, um, there is uh, actually a lot more than that, and, um, let's see, okay, yeah, I think, uh, oh, yeah, yeah okay. I um, want to, don't doubt on all of them, but these are the political parties in the United States, as according to the Pennsylvania Department of Elections. Democracy, Adarian, America First, American, American Eagle, American First Party, American Labor, American Nazi, American Patriot, American Revolutionary Party, Anarchist, Anarcho-Capitalist, Anarcho-Communist, ICEV, Atheist, Bipartisan, Birthday, the Birthday Party. Oh, that's that's cute. Blue Army, Bull Moose, and it, it, it goes on. It's, some of them are, there's the Know Nothing Party, there's the Jedi Party, the Jackass One Party. It's all about division and the devil's laughing at all of us. Well, it, it's the split party. It's like, it, how? when is the last time somebody ran on the sloth and indolence ticket? I mean, can we, like, clean some of these up, maybe, if, if, that nobody's... I mean, does anybody run on the Nazi ticket? Do we need to have a political party code for Nazi in Pennsylvania? I, I, I don't think so. I thought it was funny. Obama ran as a Mormon in the 2012. Oh, I mean, Romney. I think yeah, Romney, not, not Obama. 
They were the same, man.